everybody from beginner to pro let's go this game is not really forgiving so there's going to be a lot of rewards they're going to give you in the beginning but those are going to die off very quickly especially things like books you don't get a lot of books so it takes time to get all this stuff going you don't want to make a lot of mistakes in your beginning process so i'm just going to give you an overview of what you need to do how you can play the game and it's going to help you out it's going to really help you progress here so you'll feel confident going through the game and starting out, or if you've already been playing for a little while, see if you're still on track for what I did. My main account is over two years old. This is the latest free-to-play account that we've started. I've done many free-to-play accounts. This one actually, I think, had the world's fastest kale. Day three, we were about to go to 205 speed, and then on day four, we had it, and then day five was the last video I did two months ago on this account. So I haven't been playing this account too easy. Like I progressed too fast. I also got a really powerful epic on the account and I just stopped playing it. It was too easy for me to do. But now I'm going to pick it back up and we're going to do the ninja hunt on this one. On this free to play account in future videos, we're going to definitely level up ninja on here and see how he is. Okay, now starting out, you're going to want to pick Kale. If you did not pick Kale right here, this champion out of the four you can pick in the beginning of the game delete your account <laughs> okay i'm kind of joking but i'm really not joking if you haven't played that long if it's only been a few days and you haven't spent money go back restart your account and get kale so what you're going to do when you first start playing the game you're going to log in and you're going to see this right here where it's going to have the ninja hunt what you want is that lifesteal gear now since i've already gotten the lifesteal gear on this account you can't see it right here but the lifesteal gear is the same for every single account here it is on my kale and lifesteal is very strong and you want that on that one champion that's going to carry your whole entire account from your beginning process and i hope it's your kale i really i really hope it's your kale because you need those poisons they are very strong in this game and this champion is just the strongest by far out of all the starting champions so you're all going to get this lifesteal gear they all have the same sub stats now other gear is always random all this other gear you get has variable sub stats on there they're always different but this will always be the same. And what we're hoping to get here and we have no control over when we roll this is we're hoping for speed. Speed is king in this game. You want speed boots on everybody. That's a blanket statement, I know. But for now, for your beginning process, you want speed boots on anybody you play. I don't care who they are for now. Speed is king. You want to go two times to the enemies one time. And you want to move faster than the enemies in arena. So you want some speed right now. It's very important. So speed boots on everything. You're going to farm as many speed boots as you can. Every time you get some new gear, you want to see if it has a speed substat on it. And you want to try to roll to get that speed substat. Keep that in mind when you're playing this game. It is very, very important to do that. The second biggest thing to do is to level this one champion to 60. It's a pretty difficult thing to do. You can see the leveling process here. You take this 60 and you make food with it, which I'm going to show you in a minute. If you've already been playing the game, you know, but this is what it looks like. You're taking these people to their max level and then you're feeding another one into it. You're making them into a two star. Here we go. She's a two star now. Now you're taking that two star to the max level and so on. Now, this game has not been revised in two years as far as the beginning process, which is pretty sad, but that's why I'm here helping you out. They should have made it so you can make a six star immediately and kind of revamp this beginning process. Now, when you're going through these challenges, they are very annoying and very old, and they tell you to gear your people very wrong. Not the right way at all. So just keep in mind, no matter what you do, make sure you go for these speed boots on everybody that you play. I don't care who it is. Speed boots galore. HP is always good. HP is always good for an attack based champion like Kale. Honestly, HP chest piece is still good. We've got crit rate gloves. We have an attack chest that they gave us. And this will work because Kale is strong enough to keep himself alive now because we have masteries as well. Masteries are a big part of this game. It costs 800 gems to do your masteries, or you have to farm these scrolls up here from the Minotaur's Labyrinth. Now, what you want to do is save your gems. Do not spin those gems. Make sure you save those gems to get your first 60 like this, all its masteries. And you can only get this tier 6 mastery if you are level 60. If you're level 50, you can come down here to the level 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But you can't do this one, which is very important for your account, until you are 60. So going back to leveling up champions, you're going to pull other champions that you're really going to enjoy. You're going to be like, oh man, I got to miscreate a monster. This guy is amazing. But to be the most effective and save the most time, you want to just level up this guy to 60, which means all the food you're leveling up, all your support. I know you want to level up miscreated monster. 
up to 50 because he comes to you as a four star and then you can get him to level 40 but hold off just level up everyone else that you're actually not going to play so that you can get your kale to 60. Basically, what that does is you have your farmer. In these type of turn-based gotcha games, you need somebody to always farm for you. Summoner's Wars, Epic 7, I don't care which one you've ever played before. It's all the same. You come in here, you go to the best place to farm, which is 12-3 Brutal for you, and you have your Kale here. Now, if you have to farm somewhere else, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. If you have to go down and go into this one or anywhere else, wherever you get the farthest to go, but this is by far the best for you, you come in here and watch. This is what you're going to be doing a lot. So we're taking all this other food is what we call it because we're just going to level these guys up to four star or five star to feed them into the champions that we want. But you are going to do this process quite a bit. So we kill that wave. We go into the next wave. Kale is the one driving us here. He's got that war master that you saw down there. War master, whenever it procs, it's going to do a mass amount of damage, but it's going to also heal him with his lifesteal gear on. That's why you want that lifesteal gear. This is why you want to be fast as well, so you can take additional rounds. Watch, we're going to go once. Now we just went twice. We went two times over the enemy, and that is big, very big in this game. If you are slower and they are going two times over you, you're going to be dead. So that's why we want to do this in the beginning process. It is a blanket statement. There's a lot of other things to consider later on, but for now, I want you to just focus on that. So that's your farmer. This is how it's going to go down. Stu, why should I go all out on my Kale or my starting champion when in seven days I'm going to get a ninja? Well, ninja is nice. He's great. I really like this champion. And yes, I've already got my level 60 Kale, so I'm going to take him to... He comes at us with us a five star. So I'm going to take him up to 50. Level 50, five star. I'm not going to take him to a six star. I'm going to actually build him very tanky. HP gloves, HP chest, speed boots, and just take advantage of him doing burns and burn explosion. Never mind this four star. Believe me, he comes to you as a five star. This is an error. We're going to do burns and burn explosion on the bosses. He's going to help me get through the waves, but you do not have legendary books to book him out. Books are very, very important in this game. See these books right here? They will lower the skill cooldown, so you can do this on a three-turn cooldown. This one you can do on a four-turn cooldown. And the percentage to do these debuffs, like to freeze the enemy, will go up to 100%. Now, we're going to utilize that 75% chance to freeze to help us get through waves. And we're going to do these burns on the waves, which will then help us as well at 75% chance. And we're going to do the burn explosion on the boss. But as your farmer, like say we were to take him to 60 and try to replace Kale with this champion. It's not going to work out. Five turn cooldown along with just a regular three random hits, the A1. He does get stronger. He will at end game, mid game, have higher base attack than Kale, do way more damage than Kale, but it doesn't matter. We don't need him for this. We need Kale as our farmer. That is what we need to progress in the game. We gotta have that farmer. That's your first step. So get your farmer done, get your Kale done, get him to 60, only focus on that all the way through. And again, when you're doing these challenges, they're gonna be annoying. They haven't been revised in two years. They're not accurate. The way they try to tell you to gear your people, do not listen to it, but do do these to get these great rewards. Now, I played for seven days straight on this account, and I haven't gone back, but in those seven days, I think I have a total of three legendary books, and I'll probably get a few more. So that's not going to be enough to even book out my new ninja. But I am going to play him. We're all going to play him, but just don't focus on him. Make sure you focus on that Kale. Get this guy to 60, and then you can focus on whatever else you want. Kale doesn't need books. He's on a three-turn cooldown, plus he gets turn meter increase when he kills somebody of 25%, which means he's taking those turns, right, over and over. Poisons here mean that we can kill big bosses. We can kill those bosses, and he's going to help us do that. This guy's really going to do that for us. And then we're going to try to bring Ninja in there with those burns to help us as well. Remember, I'm not going into detail about everything. I'm giving you the outline. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to have your farmer to make your food, to rank up other champions. You're going to do that with your Kale. You're not going to go all in on your Ninja, not yet, until you get your Kale to 60 or whatever starting champion you brought. Your next biggest hurdle is going to be to beat Dragon 13. But before we go over there, let's talk about these missions. You're gonna do missions. These are actually really good to do. You're gonna have your daily quest to complete. Make sure you're getting your daily quest done. And you're gonna have those challenges I talked about. And you're gonna do these as you get your level 60 done. You're gonna go through and complete these as far as you can get as you're progressing through the game. Don't stress on those, just do these as you can. And then you're gonna have tournaments and events going on which some of these are really good. Some of these are good for brand new accounts to do as well. So make sure you're always trying to get something done here. 
You don't have to get the best reward. Remember, this is only to get like this 100 energy would be amazing to get on your brand new account if you can do it. But don't stress yourself about it. You'll still be able to progress. Now, the gems we talked about earlier, you're going to get gems in the game. They're going to give you a lot in the beginning, and you don't want to use those to do summons. Do not go into the shop and buy a whole bunch of these ancient shards and blow those gems away. You're going to want to use those on your very first level 60 for their masteries. This is a beginning mastery build. We come down here, we've got crit, critical damage. When we do damage, we can get life back if we're under a certain percentage. This is where we ramp up our speed as well. Anytime we get a kill with this champion, we get a six additional speed up to 18. So we get 18 ramped up very quickly. We can put a skill on cooldown sometimes, percentage chance here. And then here's that war master I was talking about where when we do damage to a boss or those waves, we can get a lot of life back with that lifesteal gear in conjunction with this war master mastery. So whenever we proc that, we get a mass amount of life. Then we get additional accuracy. Accuracy is so big in this game, it's very hard to get when you're starting out. So make sure you get the accuracy. I came over here to try to reset a skill cooldown, and then I get a chance to apply a poison debuff here. A 5% additional chance to apply it, and then we get a chance to extend that poison debuff. It'll all make sense if you're playing the game, and Evil Eye is a very, very important mastery to get in game or late game, it doesn't matter. Now, if you wanted to go over here and take away this life drinker, you could go to this mastery to get yourself additional turn meter at times if you have debuffs up. But we're really not applying that many debuffs, so I didn't want to go hard into that. I wasn't worried about our allies dying to get us additional speed here, but this isn't a bad mastery as well. But this is a pretty common beginning mastery build for you guys. So your next step is going to be to beat Dragon 13. Now the missions are gonna send you in a lot of different areas. It's okay, do the missions as you can, but you're gonna wanna focus once you get that 60, once you have your masteries and you start getting other five stars, you're gonna wanna go over here to Dragon and go to Dragon 13. And as you can see within those four days or five days, we had already beat it. Now anybody that you get, anybody that you summon that has an accuracy lead like this is golden. Do not get rid of them and always use them even if you don't have them leveled up. Even if they die, they will still give you this accuracy for your whole entire party, the whole entire dungeon run. Do not get rid of these champions. These are very, very important. If there's a resistance lead, you could use that as well or a speed lead is fine. But really starting out, an accuracy lead is going to be your best friend. So maybe you'll get lucky enough to find yourself an accuracy lead. Now the way this works is we come through here, the waves... We kill them, and then we fight the dragon with poisons. The dragon is insanely hard to beat without poisons. We need that. Or burns, which is what Ninja will do, right? But just not a large amount, and we don't have the books, remember, to make him amazing. But we're still going to level him up and play him on this team. We're just going to focus on our farmer first. So we had somebody die already. That's fine. It's going to happen, right? All right. <laughs> there we go. Two made it. It's not an easy process in the beginning, especially when you're rushing like I did. But here's what you need accuracy for, to apply those debuffs. Everything in the game has a resistance and you have an accuracy. And to apply debuffs and to do a decreased defense, a weaken, to turn me to reduce. Anything that you're doing out there, you have to have accuracy to do it. So you want that accuracy and then you want your Kale, like I have right now, putting up these poisons. Getting this dragon down below these thresholds which he didn't do that time, and killing this dragon with these poisons. This is how you do it. Now, I don't know if I got through here. This is two months ago. If I got through here easy on full auto like this or I had to manual it. I was still working on the account. We're not getting up enough poisons right now that when the dragon rears up, we'll probably die here. If we don't get up enough poisons, then we're going to die. Kale needs to do his A3, and we didn't have it. But he is strong, right? He's built strong. Okay, we were able to <laughs> get it done. There we are. So now we can get four to six star gear. That's huge. That's the biggest thing in this game and hopefully with speed substats. This is your first biggest hurdle in the game doing stage 13 because then you're going to get that four to six star gear. Once we had that five to six star gear with good speed substats, especially in accuracy, two piece accuracy gives us plus 40 accuracy in speed. Speed gives us 12% additional speed and lifesteal. So they have those three right up there for you to see right away. I don't know why it's in that order. But those are the best beginning sets to have, by far. Now, there's other great sets in here for later on. But for now, you want to focus on that accuracy, that speed, and that lifesteal. Four to six star. Once we have all those good ones, we'll keep progressing. We'll go to stage 14, stage 15, and stage 16, which is another milestone because at 16, we don't get bruise anymore and we don't get like mystery shards. So from then on out, at stage 16, you're only going to get artifacts dropped. 
which is really good, and you're going to get good four to six star gear and so on. But from here, you can branch out into everything in the game. Okay, let's recap. So you're going to make that level 60. You're not going to mess around with a whole bunch of other champions that you do want to play with later, but you're going to focus on making that level 60. Then you're going to take all these gems and not blow these gems on shards. You're going to use these gems to unlock your masteries on that very first 60. Now, the rest of these gems, I would suggest you unlock your gem mine. It's going to pay you back gems over time. You can do this up to level three. I would. I would do it up to level three. Then daily, you will be getting gems back. The forge will unlock at level 30. This is going to help you get through Dragon 13 that I just told you about. The forge is amazing at level 30. You're going to be able to make five and six star gear in here. So make sure you try to make some perception pieces. These are probably the best thing for you. Increase accuracy, increase speed. Do as many, all of these. Three to four star, four to five star, five to six star. Make whatever you can because you can make a lot at level 30. It's a big boost in the game and it's going to help you beat that Dragon 13. And then once you're at Dragon 13, remember from there, it's smooth sailing. Whatever these missions tell you to do, wherever they tell you to go to, they're telling you to be Ice Golem. They're telling you to go into the Spider's Den, Fire Knight, all of that. You will use the gear that you get from Dragon to beat all those other dungeons. You're going to use this accuracy gear, this speed gear, and this lifesteal gear to beat your Fire Knight your spider, your ice golem, your minotaur with your new level 60. You're going to take your new level 60 with its masteries in here to get other people's scroll for their masteries. So if you want to get masteries on your miscreated monster, you're going to bring that strong level 60 and just farm with that one miscreated monster to get scrolls. Because once you max out on scrolls, they will always go to the other people in your party. But if you have multiple people in your party, it's random. You can't pick and choose who the scrolls go to. So it's best to have somebody really strong and just whoever you want the scrolls on specifically, you bring them in with it. That's it, everyone. That'll keep you busy for quite a while in this game. And of course, we're going to level up our ninja to five star. He comes to us at five star, not a four star. Five star down here. That's what a legendary is. We're going to take him to 50. We're going to use our three books possibly into him. And we're going to see what he can do for us. We're going to gear him out tanky. We're going to use his debuffs, we're going to use his freeze, we're going to use his burns, and for now, at the beginning game experience, on this free-to-play account, we're going to play him in that role. Now, you're going to see me do other videos with my main account where we're going to take him in as a nuker, and we're going to blow those waves up along with the bosses with some serious in-game gear. So that's going to be fun. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.